the real estate crash. Is it coming and when? Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I wanna welcome you here. I wanna congratulate you on coming and trying to learn a little bit about real estate today. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. As a California licensed real estate agent in a red hot Southern California market, I have been living in what's been pretty much the wild west, folks. I've been seeing properties get sold before you can even get a yard sign into the ground. I've been seeing soccer moms practically run each other over in their minivans the minute an open house sign comes out. It has been absolute craziness. And I, and I have to tell you folks, I just don't like it. And that's why I'm here on YouTube. I've been received very well because it's not very often you see an active real estate agent come on and warn people of a potential real estate dip, correction, crash. I don't care, call it what you want. Something doesn't pass the smell test. Now, hey, listen, I'm helping a lot of people buy and sell and rent properties right now. I'm just scrutinizing because I just what I saw, the amount of people paying over asking price. I don't like it. I don't like to see people leverage everything they have on a home that if one blip in their income or the economy could take them into, into put them into a tailspin. And the next thing you know, I'm getting called to sell their distressed home. I don't want that, folks. Listen, the money's not that important to me. So one of the things that we're going to do before we get into this very, very, very hot topic is I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I would absolutely, absolutely love to hear from you. I take a lot of time to read your comments. I'm responding as much as I can. I'm busy. I know you're busy too, so I do my best. Thank you for that. So um, folks, listen, it's the million dollar question, right? Is there a crash? If so, when? I've seen it in the comments. How long should I wait then? How long should I wait on the sidelines? Um, you know, we have some big, big, big issues going on uh, in the economy right now and in, in real estate's, you know, a very hot topic, right? Uh, that's why you've tuned in today is it's, it's a hot, hot topic. Now, listen, we got to be careful what we wish for. We don't necessarily want to see a full blown crash. The economic fallout wouldn't justify any property that you happen to be able to get at what you perceive as a discount. But what we do absolutely need, in my opinion, is a slight cooling off correction at minimum. And I believe we're starting to see that right now. There has been a clear and present cooling trend. We've got a lot of fiscal cliffs showing up in the form of mortgage forbearance and eviction bans ending, unemployment benefits ending, stimulus stopping. I could go on and on and on. We have a perfect storm of things that could absolutely throw this into a tailspin. We have to monitor it on a daily basis. I'm doing my best to produce videos every day or so. And, um, you know, it's the, this will ne there will never be a shortage of uh, things to uh, cover on this channel. That is for sure. You know, again, I know for me to remain wealthy, I have to make you wealthy first. I believe knowledge is a great way to do that. I believe you can do that by simply hitting the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. It's very important that, that we help people right now. I don't want to see people set themselves up for fail. I want to see people become very well-rounded, earn your wealth mentality. I want to see people not just getting by. I want to see them, you know, have more than enough in life. And that is my goal here, uh, guys. I don't want to you to be so consumed about owning your own house as you are owning other people's houses. That's the path to wealth. I've, I've told you before, I'll tell you again, 95% of all millionaires made their money in real estate. It is absolutely amazing. Changed my life. So here's the thing, folks. We are, we're in the pandemic for a full year, right? Over a year. We were in pandemic over a year. It was this incredibly crazy time that we've never seen before. This is uncharted territories. So when, when we first got locked down, real estate froze. Every real estate agent froze too. They're like, oh my God, what am I going to do, right? And then the buyer euphoria. Now these realtors are running around like they're the next hot thing when we're in an inflated market. Full of ego. I always say, ego is not your amigo, friends. You do not, if you're in that position, don't let it go to your head because it won't last forever. And even if it did, it's not the way to earn clients. The way to earn clients is the way I'm earning viewers right now is to come to them honestly and try to help them earn wealth, not just walk them down the aisle to buy a house and, and sign them up for you know, a, a contract. And, and this, this is not the way to do it, folks. Clearly, I'm, I'm beyond that. So my expectation of what we need, what we're going to see is this next year is a big, big year for us. 
big year. Now listen, this could happen in a matter of days, months, but I typically like to give things a year. We're just getting reopened again, and just because we have our face masks off, it's not all rainbows and sunshine quite yet, folks. We are just getting back out, uh, trying to get back to life, but we, what we just came through, the dust needs to settle. We have to pay the piper at some point, and believe me, I'm not alone in thinking this. The banks are getting ready for this potential uh, onslaught of inventory. Uh, you know, we're introducing 40-year mortgages now. I mean, the only reason that's happening, folks, is because they know these programs are, are going to end and they're throwing one more safety net at the uh, American public to see what we can do to, to curb some of it. Listen, folks, I don't care. I mean, I really believe that we are going to see um, some inventory come and it's probably gonna grab some serious headlines. And that's gonna contribute now, instead of buyer euphoria, to seller euphoria. We'll see a complete flip-flop. I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. And listen, folks, as much as I love selling real estate and I love listings, I don't wanna get them in that way. I don't wanna be buried in listings, telling customers that I can get them X amount when I know now the inventory is saturated, the market's saturated with inventory, and I'm not going to be able to get them those premium numbers. And everybody's going to have that euphoric recall of these astronomical, and that there's a small percentage of people that sold their houses at these, you know, super high levels. And the window is shrinking every, you know, by the minute. Um, so, you know, this is going to take this next year, I would say, if you're waiting on the sidelines to see what the market's going to do, you're probably looking at about a year and you won't time the market perfectly. So you jump in when you can jump in and not have to spend all your money to do it. Don't, you know, don't, no matter where the prices go, don't spend all your money to become house poor. It's just not worth it, folks. Take it from me, from experience. I can just tell you that. So that's it, folks. I hope this brought you a little value. If you really, really want to scratch your real estate itch and own some real estate while you're uh, on the sidelines, I'll tell you what I do. Go to the link in the description below. Download Weeble. It's free. Go to ETFs. Go to industry. Go to real estate. Buy a real estate ETF. It's companies. All they do is invest in real estate, and you will have ownership in a real estate company that's investing in real estate, which basically gives you ownership in real estate. Again, I wouldn't tell you to do anything I don't do myself. That is something that I do and it's much less volatile than the stock market. I am not willing to stay tied to my devices all day, every day, watching stock charts and things like that. I'll just put it into an ETF and let somebody else do it for me. It's a great way to go. So I hope that helps a little bit. Go out and make it count today. And remember, the next time you think real estate, think Scott Walters. We will see you soon.